Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is the first video that I am filming in 2020, but it is not the first one posted, but I wanted to, in my mind, for some reason, have this be like the very first thing that I film in this new decade. This is a product that I have wanted to launch for years and years and years. I'm living my dream, you guys. Like I cannot even tell you, even when I'm not filming or I'm not here in LA, I am just living my dream, getting to be creative and getting to sketch things out and plan things out and to watch them come to life in the physical, to actually like hold the product is the best feeling in the world. I do have one tiny thing to announce to you guys before I show you the new Tati Beauty product. Textured Neutrals Volume 1 that you guys have loved so much. Thank you, by the way. I am seeing it in so many, you know, best of 2019 videos, beautiful pictures over on Instagram that I repost and put in stories as often as I can. So please keep tagging me, tag Tati Beauty. I love looking at those and seeing your talent and the artistry and just how creative you guys are getting with this palette and using it in so many different ways. So thank you. A lot of people are emailing and messaging all the time. When will it come back? We want this, we want more of this. And I'm really happy to announce that we have more palettes available for sale tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. PST. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, God. <laughs> That was for you, Erica. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy about it. If you think for a minute that I'm not filming and just like relaxing and doing nothing and like not thinking about my brand or business, like you are so wrong. Like I am in there all the time talking with you guys, reading your messages, getting like excited with you about, you know, more palettes becoming available, working on future collections. It is the most rewarding thing ever. So thank you, thank you. We are always gonna work as hard and smart and fast as we can while keeping it on a good timeline and quality. And you know, if I could just go and have like unlimited raw materials and palettes for you, I would, but the industry does not work that way. So uh, thank you for your patience. Grab your palette tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. If you have been waiting for that restock, then makeup is served. Let's get to the new product that, that I'm so happy to announce. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> ready? Are we ready? I think we need like a dramatic hair flip maybe. <sighs> okay. The new Tati Beauty product is the Blendiful. This is a blending tool unlike no other. You get two in a pack. This is an $18 item for two. A lot of you guys were thinking it was more makeup, but this tool is such a necessary item to create a perfect canvas very quickly, effectively. It's great for touch-ups. It is hygienic. You can wash it. It's so many things and the design in it is flexible and pliable and blendable and bendy enough that you aren't gonna look at it and not know what to do. I feel like a lot of these tools that are in the pro community for artists sometimes get overlooked by consumers because they don't know how to use them. And they're oftentimes too fluffy and too thick. So I had a design idea in mind when creating this and I wanted to create it with a very specific cloth, a specific texture, a specific feeling where it would grab and blend, you know, liquid or powder products alike. It would be for application or touch up and it would be shaped in a way where you had pointed edges and round curves as well. So meet the Blendiful. The packaging is stunning and simple. You guys know I do my very, very best to keep packaging to a minimum just to be a little more eco-conscious. If you go on TatiBeauty.com tomorrow, this will be available at 10 a.m. p.m. PST. If you purchase this item, you will be mailed this exact little guy right here. You will get the Blendiful. It says no harsh lines on the back. Exos Tati has your cleaning instructions and you will just open the package up like so. And there they are. So I wanna first show you the larger Blendiful. This is a pretty sizable puff. 
that is something different. The shape is large. It is intended to be this way. And it is because I want any one of you, no matter what your routine is, I want you to be able to use this in a variety of different ways. And I know personally, when I use a puff, I run out of real estate really quickly because I'm using it with so many different shades, highlight, powder. And this guy is so thin and bendy that you can really just kind of fold it up however you like. I like to actually dip, you know, different areas and then go in and be able to do concealer then be able to kind of move down a little bit, grab a little powder and set it. I have been able to do my entire face of makeup with one of these, no problem, really quickly. It glides product down and because of how soft this material is, it just smooths it out. Kind of like if you were an expert, what do you call it, cake decorator? I was gonna call it like icing expert. But you know, the decoration part of like smoothing something out, is so satisfying and you have to think that this is doing a similar thing but with your foundation or with your primer or with your bronzer you're not just pressing product in and having it kind of pull back out the way that will happen with a sponge which i do like sponges so like just you know i have love for all beauty things this is easy to clean it is not going to pull back product you're gonna have less product waste it will immediately buff your makeup back into place if you are on the Go. and that is why we have the baby blendiful in here as well which is a little more firm and smaller a little more petite super cute and has those same edges where you have the curved edge and you have a pointed edge so if you do want to fold this up and kind of get right in the inner corner here around the nose if you get oily around there around here you can do that. It is the best touch-up tool ever, even with nothing on it. And it is just going to re-smooth and buff and blend. If you get those lines right here, it's just a really easy blend. If you do this with your fingertips, you naturally always are gonna have a little bit of oil on your fingertips. It is going to break things apart. When you use a cloth like the Blendiful, you can just really easily kind of lightly buff things back into place. Boom. If you're on the go and you wanna add a little bit of powder foundation, if you're on the go and you want to add a little translucent powder, I really like the Fenty translucent powder. And I will take this and just kind of stamp it lightly in that powder compact and just kind of do this, do this. You can really press product in, which is really nice. Instead of with a brush where you are literally, you know, swirling, 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 you're not getting that tension and that pressure and that press that you would with a puff. So when you can really press the product in, it's gonna last longer. It's gonna make your pores look more invisible. It is gonna give you a more smooth satin finish to the skin overall. It just makes the makeup look so gorgeous. So this little baby blendiful is your perfect on the go makeup companion, whether you use it with makeup, whether you use it just to blot away shine, whether you use it as a fixer upper, this is a beautiful on the go tool. And that's why I wanted to have this in the kit as well. So you're getting two items. And then the larger Blendiful has more of a soft center and it is large. There's so many, you know, different areas on here that you can fold and, you know, do whatever you need to do with whatever product you are trying to apply. Now for primer, it's one of these items where there is an education that needs to come in. I think most people would see this and be like, eh, like whatever, and not get excited about it. And I'm here to kind of like hype you guys up and be like, get excited because your makeup's gonna look so good. It's gonna look so good. This is like my secret tool. This is like, what is it? And you are going to dip into any pore blurring primer specifically. And I say that because moisturizing primers, mm, you probably don't wanna waste it on that. Like really just put in your moisturizer yourself. However, if you have an issue like me, you know, I had acne as a teenager. I have more visible pores. I can't change my pore size. So if you experience a little bit of texture and visible pores right here, that kind of orange peel look to the skin, and you like using a blurring primer, this is going to really help you take it up a notch. Because if you take your blurring primer on a surface like this, where it's going to grab in between all of those little soft hairs, you can actually take the primer and press it in. You are going to get it done faster than you could with your fingertips. With your fingertips, you have a tendency to wanna to pull like this and pill the product up. When you have a product like this, the Blendiful, 
you're going to press, 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 and you can almost press and pull a little bit, and it's just going to seal everything in. It's kind of like spackling a wall and you know and then you're ready for the paint from there this is an awesome tool to do cream foundation or liquid if you're someone that likes a fast pass and you like just that ch -ch 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 quick foundation yes so good it doesn't you know waste a lot of product you're not pulling back a lot of product and i really like using this also with the dior air flash if i actually spray it on the face and then go in and do press, 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 press. It works really beautifully. You can use this with concealer, and I will be uploading soon a full face using only the Blendiful to kind of like further guide you guys through, but you can definitely take the pointed end of the teardrop shape and you can just go right in here. And what's nice is you can pull straight down and you have enough like width at the tip to really pull down and do a nice triangular highlight if you want. If you don't like that, you can you know, just kind of go up here. Whatever shape you want to create, this is going to help you to have more control. It's gonna help you to smooth things out and to really get into any creasing and you know, be gentle and delicate with the delicate skin underneath your eyes. Also, this point right here is great for getting around the nose, which tends to be an area that a lot of women specifically flare up with a little bit of redness due to our hormones. So around here, I always have to extra cover and really blend in also so that I don't have that gap of foundation. This is like that nice soft texture that is gonna smooth that out so you don't have that harsh line there so that you can get a little extra coverage going. So we have concealing, we have foundation, we have priming. You can actually kind of stick your finger right in the center of it and fold it right in half. And then this will make the most beautiful tool for contour because you can kind of feel where the cheekbone is and just slice the face. I mean, don't slice the face, but slice the face with makeup. And you can have a beautiful contour, and then what I do is I buff it upward to make sure that everything is perfectly blurred out, where you don't see any demarcation between the line of contour and foundation. You don't see any harshness. You don't see any patchiness. It just kind of rolls the color one from another, and I like that look. It's like this gradient. It's a more natural look. I really love it. When contour doesn't look like contour, it just looks like a nice bronzy shading, kind of like, how did she do that? I don't know. This is how I do it. You know, you can go on the nose very easily as well. I'll always take the leftover and just kind of press right on the side and then blend upward like so. This is also great to be able to take down the neck very gently because this skin is very delicate. Be careful, ladies, especially as we age, this is not a forgiving area on a woman's body. It's just not. I already have my issues with it. You don't wanna be tugging a sponge. You don't wanna be, you know, it, you don't get aggressive. You wanna be gentle. And this will help you if you want to take a bronzer or any product really gently down like so. This is large enough that you can go on the body if you like. I will even take my hair back like this and I will pull bronzer upward toward the hairline. And then if you move into powder, it's very effective. Again, if you kind of sandwich it, you can dunk it into any loose powder and you can do your bake, your bake, your bake, your bake. You can set it there and then just whisk it off after you are done baking. If you are not into baking, then you can dunk in and you can do pat, 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 and press the product in. And you're gonna get so much mileage out of your makeup because it's just gonna lock in a lot tighter. It's gonna look smoother. It's gonna be prettier altogether when you use a pressing, patting, stippling motion with a puff. Now, this is something makeup artists have used for years. And it's always blown my mind that it wasn't available everywhere you turned, that every brand didn't have their own version of this and they didn't try to make it superior to one or the other and put their own spin on it because that's what products in the marketplace really are. You know, eyeshadow and lipstick have existed forever. A blush brush has existed forever, but it's taking your own unique spin on it as a brand owner, at least in my opinion, you look at something and you're like, how can we make that better? How can we make it more available to the masses? And how can I sit here and educate and teach how this can be such a gorgeous tool to have in your routine? So that was my mission with this product because I think this is like the overlooked diamond in the rough. You know, this is a fabric that can just do everything and you can wash it with 
soap and water. I will literally go to my sink here and I will wash this and it dries quickly. I will take my Dyson, you can take a hair dryer and just kind of dry it quickly if you don't have the patience to let it sit overnight. If you buy a bunch of these and you're using it for the body and bronzing and contouring, you're like, yes, I need, I need a few of those because that's actually what I do. I will reserve one for liquids, one for powders because I just use it so often. And then I will just pop these in a lingerie bag and put it in the washer and poof, done. It's so easy to take care of these. They wash right back to the original softness. All of the makeup washes out of it very easily. And it is just the most underrated, useful tool imaginable. And I'm so happy to be bringing this out and to be sitting here and sharing with you guys every technique, every trick, and showing you how to use it in action to really just get the most out of something that at the end of the day is really, really simple. If you try it and experience it, you will get what I'm talking about with how cool this product really is. And I hope you guys are excited about it. Thank you so, so much for your support. Thank you for making this brand the success that it is. It's allowing me to reinvest and recreate. And that's just something that I plan on doing. You know, I'm, I'm selling, I'm reinvesting, creating more, that's the plan. It's not a get rich quick thing for me. I hope you guys feel that. I really want to make this brand the best that it can be and I think we're on our way. I think it's really, really cool and I think you guys are gonna continue to be impressed and excited with what I have in store. So go check this out, 10 a.m. PST tomorrow and let me know what you think of this. I think that you're just, you're gonna love it as much as I do. And your makeup's gonna be so smooth. That's about it, you guys. Uh, as far as update reminders, Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals is restocked tomorrow as well. So we will have both of those available for purchase on the site at 10 a.m. PST. These are both permanent items, so don't get freaked out. Like if you can't purchase it tomorrow, don't sweat it. It will be back. I am not that person to like get everybody like, ah, you know, like I don't want that. We are just moving through 2020 stress-free. So grab it if you can and you want to. If you don't and you feel like, oh, I missed out, I don't want you to feel like that, we will have more. I will be back with more videos, including application videos of the Blendiful very, very soon. And maybe like a get ready with me update about my big move to Seattle. Some of you guys heard about that. It's happening, it's real. Yes, I'm taking my husband with me. I can't believe that was a news story. Anyway, um, I love you guys. Go have a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. So blend, blendiful? Why do I always wanna say that? Blendiful is not a word.